Well, I'm Dane Ballsman. I'm the urban fisheries biologist for Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. Uh, today we're out at Panther Creek Park Lake in Owensboro. Uh, we're doing our annual, or not annual, every uh, two to three years we do fall sampling for catfish populations. So in addition to the springtime when we sample bass and bluegill, uh, in the fall we run hoop nets to sample the catfish population. So we're out here today setting baited hoop nets. Uh, we put these nets in on Tuesday or I'm sorry, we put these nets in on Monday and we're running them here today on Thursday. Um, they soak for three days, they're baited, and we try to catch catfish to see what the size structure of the fish looks like and what kind of condition they're in. So um, just helps us monitor the catfish population, see if we're, uh, make sure we're not overstocking, seeing if the fish are being caught by anglers and, and see what the population looks like. Today we didn't do real well on, on the hoop nets for catfish sampling. Uh, the catch rates with these hoop nets can be variable, um, so we compare that against a long data set that again we'll look back over the last few years what we've caught. Um, but they can be variable with these catch rates and, and we're just looking again to see um, if we're seeing that across the board on a lot of lakes if fishing pressure has gone up or if it's just this isolated lake. Um, the big thing we're looking for is to make sure that we're not catching way too many fish that are all skinny and that we think we're overstocking or anglers aren't harvesting those. So uh, we didn't see that today. Uh, we'll continue with the stocking rates. We, we had a, a kind of a bad year at the, at the hatchery this year where the fish were a little bit smaller and, and numbers were down. So we're hoping to get that back on track. Um, but um, we caught a lot of crappie, so you will catch some bycatch too. Uh, mainly today we're looking for catfish, but we did catch a lot of crappie. Uh, one or two big ones, but for the most part they were small. And that's typically why we don't like to see crappie in small impoundments, because they can overpopulate and you end up with a lot of fish that are the same size. And we did see that today, a lot of small black crappie. Um, I don't think they were stunted. I think it was a big year class that they're about two year old fish. So we'll be stocking trout next Wednesday, October 25th. Um, water temps today were 60 degrees, so they're, they're cool enough. Uh, trout need cool water to survive, so they won't make it through the summer, uh, but we stock them here in October. Um, and then again in February and March, they'll make it usually to about the 1st of June when water temps hit mid 70s. So it's another seasonal fishing opportunity uh, for things to catch in the fall and winter and early spring when maybe the catfish and bluegill and bass aren't biting as well. Again, today we're at Panther Creek Park. It's, it's one of the members of our fins program and, and it's a great partnership that we have with local municipalities. So most of these fins lakes are owned by city and county governments. Um, today, you know, Yellow Creek and Panther Creek are owned by Davies County. Uh, we also have Wayman Morris Park that's owned by the city of Owensboro. Uh, and these are great programs where they're great bodies of water, but they can get overfished. And the FINS program, we stock keeper size fish. So a lot of the places that we stock around the state, we stock smaller size fish where they're put, grow, and take fisheries. These are put and take where the, when the fish go in, they're keeper size. So we know the limitations to fishing are time and a place to go. So again, these, these FINS lakes are great. They're close to where a lot of people live and they don't have to travel far to go fishing and hopefully have a successful trip when they're out. So you can go to our website, fw.ky.gov and search for fins. Uh, we've got a lot of great information on that webpage. You can buy a license, you can find the regulations, find the stocking dates. Um, we put those stocking dates up there. Um, and you can also find maps to the lakes. If you're not familiar with where these lakes are, you can get a Google map. Uh, we've also mapped out these lakes on water depth. So if you're interested how deep the lakes are, um, just some information on those, you can find that as well on the webpage.